Hi everyone, welcome back to Queenie Pops. I wanted to do a quick video on my Revlon Colour Stay. Um, I've been using it now for a couple of weeks, can't remember exactly. Um, and I thought I would now, like now's time really to do a review. So this is Revlon Colour Stay 24 Hour Foundation. Um, this one in particular is for combination oily skin um, and I've got mine in 220 natural beige which is actually too light for my skin. So the first um, probably two or three times I wore it um, on its own and it was um, yeah, I looked a bit ghostly. So I've been mixing it with some other foundations as well or um, I've got quite a dark press powder, so I've been kind of using that. So I've used it lots of different ways. Now, the reason I bought the Revlon Colour Stay was because, um, oh, and it's got an SPF 15, which is always a bonus. Um, the reason I bought it is because, if you don't know already, I've got oil, um, oily combination skin. And I just realised that I'm probably not doing anything to combat um, the oiliness on my skin. I'm just going out and buying these foundations because, you know, they're, they're great and they are the, um, like the ones on trend. Without realising that I also should be looking for a product that is for my skin type. So having watched a lot of tutorials and, <clears throat> excuse me, doing a bit more research, uh, this was... Um, coming up top trumps saying it was really really good for the skin uh, for oily skin and I have to say that is the good thing about um, this foundation um, I have had some spots and like problem areas this does not conceal it for 24 hours um, but I would give this product about 8 out of 10 for longevity and for um, the combat oiliness. Um, I am using a mattifying moisturiser in the morning before I put this on, so obviously that is going to help. I don't often powder my face either because I haven't felt any need to um, using this product. So I have to say, for what it says on the tin or glass jar, um, that is good, definitely. My T zone at the end of the day is not oily. Um, the you know the longevity, apart from in my problem areas, as I say, I could top that up. If I say if I was working in the day and I was going out for drinks in the evening, I would probably just top up this lower area where I have um, a few pimples. Um, the reason I don't like this product is because I really struggle every day with actually putting it on my skin. Today, for the first time, I use it with my fingers, and I still don't like it. I have two different brushes, so I can get them out without the camera falling off. I've got two different um, brushes, which are the Real Techniques brush. I've got a um, stippling brush, which is this one here, which is a dense um, stippling brush. And I've got the um, Extreme Face br um, Expert Face Brush. I tried to wash these the other day. Actually, no. That's going on a tangent. So, I, I apply with one or both of these. And what I find is that no matter what brush I use, and today with my fingers, it's really, really streaky. Somebody else, a uh, video I watched, they said that um, it goes on really nicely and it sinks into the skin really quickly. I don't, I haven't found that at all. I don't know if it's the moisturiser I'm using. I have switched moisturisers in the last couple of days and I haven't found any difference at all. Um, I don't like the way it goes on. It really feels like it is literally sitting on your skin. I can see the product. Every line and pore of my skin is emphasised um, for a good, like, minute or so while it's kind of working itself out but I find it's really really streaky no matter what brush I use and as I say today um because I felt ready to do a review I thought right let's use it with my hands and work the product in with my hands and it really just felt like I was moving it all over the place I think we're gonna have my daughter come in in a minute um 
I do not like the way it goes on and I can't work this out. Second thing is what I was going to say is I've tried to wash my brushes and it's still full of product and it's still really oily and really greasy and I can't work out why and I've really struggled to wash these. I wash them with a few things and still they're a bit producty. You okay? Okay. Um, so I would give this a 50-50. Just push the door. Push in the middle. Push. Push. Um, come on. <laughs> okay. Right. Um, sorry, I would give this a 50-50. Great for the oily skin. Um, it really does serve a purpose. Please be careful. No, I'm in the middle of this. Come sit on my lap. Say hello. hello. Can you say Queenie Pops? No. No. Hold my brushes. Um, I think for the oily combination skin side of things, it does um, lock um, the grease away. And I do, I really like that. I think... I think this is the first time ever I have used a product and I by lunchtime I'm not reaching for a powder or something to stop the greasiness. So for that it's good. For the colour, as I say, that's probably my fault. I did test it in the store, but um, I, I thought it was fine, but I made that fatal error. Um, so uh, that's my thing. Mommy. But for the actual um, product going on itself... Mommy. It, I don't like it at all and I'm shush wait one minute and I'll finish um, for the product itself the texture and stuff I, I don't like it so yeah as I say um, I don't know if I buy it again I will be now on the lookout for another um, oily combination uh, oil free foundation shush so that's my review with added extras um if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Thumbs up. Show thumbs up. The camera can't see. Do a thumbs up. Hmm. I am on Twitter, uh, on Queenie Pops again, and Facebook as well on Queenie Pops Love. Um, I'd love for you to follow me and give me any comments or anything you'd like to see for the future. Take care. I need to get this one to bed. See you later. Cheers, guys.